All right, folks. Last week, I took a somewhat unnecessary dig, an unnecessary shot at Philadelphia sports fans and their teams, and Philly in general. And while I did explicitly say that those digs didn't apply to anyone from Philly or a fan of a Philly sports team listening to this show, because you're obviously people of high culture, you still called me on it rightfully. Because it was unnecessary. Philly is a wonderful sports town with maybe the greatest and most considerate and patient and just all around wonderful fans in the world. I mean, what other city has fans so passionate and in love with their teams that they will celebrate their Eagles first Super Bowl victory by taking to the streets and literally eating horse shit. That's passion. No one else does that. No one's like Philly. So, I've put together a little musical tribute to Philadelphia sports and fans with clips that I really think capture the best of Philly. From the new Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni explaining how they're going to build an intelligent team in only the way that a true intellectual can explain. Two, the incredible fans carefully and gently expressing their frustrations towards Ben Simmons of the 76ers or their frustrations towards Ty Domi from Toronto or their frustrations randomly toward the Eagles' Nelson Aguilar after an apartment complex fire. Or their frustrations towards good old St. Nick. Philly, please accept my apology with this official tribute to your sports and fans. And was assisting people down. My man just started throwing babies out the window. We was catching them, unlike Aguilar and his mishaps. I like to put that out there. Ben Simmons, you crumb bum piece of shit. Surprisingly, uh, to himself, I'm sure, into the penalty box. A waste of fucking money. You got five points. Use a fucking bum. Get the fuck out of my city, you piece of shit. Shut up. Fuck you, pussy. That's Ben Simmons. You fucking crumb bum. Get Ben Simmons the fuck out of my city. I don't want to see him. Get him the fuck out of here. You fucking bum. Five points? Kevin Herter? I scored you? Who the fuck is Kevin Herter? Next thing that's very important to me is that we build a smart football team. The first part of that, the first part of being smart is knowing what to do. We're gonna we're gonna know we're gonna have systems in place that are easier to learn. Alright, complicated to the defense or offense that they're going against or the special teams group they're going against, but easy for us to learn. Because when we can put that, because we, when we can learn our system and we can get good at our system, then our talent can take over. Less thinking equals talent take over, but we need to have systems in place and we will have systems in place to do so. And all of a sudden Santa Claus is dodging and ducking and there's a full stadium full of people just wailing away at Santa Claus. I actually remember feeling a little twinge of anxiety that they might really hurt Santa. I remember watching a fella make a snowball and th throw it at me. And, and I just walked up to him, you know, at the bottom of the wall there, and I said, you're not getting anything for Christmas.